Hello, my name is Morten and I am here to show you how to get started using the WordPress plugin for Gateway API. So this is a clean WordPress um, and let's get the plugin installed so we can send our first SMS. All you got to do is go to the plugin database, plugins add new, and the easiest is to search for Gateway API. And then just click install and activate. I already have this installed so I can skip ahead and just activate it. So it is active now and let's go to settings and go to Gateway API settings. This is how you get started because so far, as you can see, it doesn't expose any UIs for working with SMSs. So let's start by going to Gateway API settings. All right. And as you can see, it asks us for an OAuth key and a secret. This information is vital and it is unique to your account. So if you don't have an account already, go to gatewayapi.com and create your account. Now I already have one, so I'll just go to the dashboard and get my API settings. So settings, API keys. And as you can see, when the account was created, the system also created this OAuth key for me. So I'll click on the key icon. And as you can see, this key and secret is what the user interface in WordPress asked us for. So let's go ahead and copy the key and copy the secret. Now there's also a token, just ignore this. It is for another kind of authentication that's not relevant within WordPress, but it is if you're integrating with another kind of, uh, one of our other libraries. But the WordPress, this is irrelevant. So let's just copy this over. You can also enable the sending UI. It is required for this tutorial. And not enabling it uh, is mostly for programmers, but uh, most regular people would enable this uh, sending a UI. Finally, it asks us for a default sender. So you should fill this in with whatever you want to say as a sender text. Um, so I'll just enter a Gateway API. The other questions, they're left for another tutorial. So as you can see, when we enabled the SMS sending UI, the SMS's uh, custom post type got added to the menu. And when you hover the menu, you can see there is a list of SMS's. You can create a new SMS. You can also work with recipients and grouping, and you can also import from a spreadsheet. This is also for another tutorial. Let's just try and send an SMS and see that that part works. So create SMS is what we're going to do. Now it also asks us, um, how we're going to pick the recipients. Now we don't have any recipients within the system by default. So let's just enter a mobile manually and we can work with the recipients in another video. So enter a mobile manually. And let's go ahead and add my phone number and my name. So I'll receive this SMS. If I wanted to send to multiple recipients, I could go ahead and add more numbers. So let's just send to this one number for starters. All right, you can see there is a center information. We, uh, if you don't fill in this field, it'll just take the, the default center that we entered previously. You can also pick what type of SMS you want. You don't have to change this. Um, changing to display SMS is mostly used for passwords because the SMS is dismissible and would not be saved on the phone in most cases. Uh, regular SMS is what most people are used to, so let's just use this one. Hello, Morton. How? do you do? Now I could go ahead and send this, but let's assume I had more recipients than just myself. So that's why we added this tagging feature. So you can see there is this tag called name. If I add this instead of my name, then this will be dynamically replaced for each recipient. So it's like mail merge from Word or whatever you're used to. This will replace with the name that was added here. So let's try and send this SMS. I could either send it now by just clicking send or I could schedule it for later sending. Let's just send it now. All right, the SMS was successfully sent and my phone just received it and it says, hello, Morton Skype, how do you do? And as expected, you have the SMS we just sent. It is archived here and it is archived here indefinitely. So if you want to clean up, you should feel most welcome. You can just trash it, but otherwise you'll have a complete history of the SMSs that you have sent from within the backend. 
So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you'll have a great time using Gateway API. Bye bye.